My name is Nolly Waterman and welcome to Thursday Thinking. As you can see, I have a rugby ball because I was an England rugby player for over 15 years. I played 82 times for my country um, and I also went to an Olympic Games, which was unbelievable. It was so much fun to see all those athletes, all of those flags, all of the different kit. Um, and I scored in my career... 47 tries. Now, I'm going to do a little bit of maths because it is Thursday thinking. Do you know how many points you get for a try? I think some of you do. You get five points. So if I got 47 tries and five points for each one, hmm, how quickly can you work that out? I'm not going to give the answer just yet because I want to see if you can come up with it. But so you know, this is a try in rugby. You push the ball into the floor. And although I'm telling you all about rugby today, that's just an introduction because we don't need one of these today. We need some bits of equipment that I will go through shortly. However, before we get on to today's session, I just want to say, it is awesome to have you back. I really hope you have been enjoying all of the different sessions by all of the amazing, incredible superstar athletes that we have as part of the Youth Sport Trust. I know that some after school clubs have returned. Woohoo! Um, but for some people, the lockdown continues and you can't get out and do your sport just yet. So we are continuing this through until the 17th of December make sure you keep tuning in because all of the sessions are fantastic and they will complement the sports that if you have gone back to, they'll, they'll complement what you're already doing. So today, Thursday thinking. First of all, the question was, how many points did I score for England? 47 tries, five points, you've got it, 235. That's your first question, all right. The equipment that you need for today. You need a basket of some kind. I've got my paper bin um, and I've got a smaller bin here, which actually is a painting that's painted. And you also need 12 small items that you can throw. So I've got some socks, I've got a mini rugby ball, and I've also got some rolled up paper. Last but not least, that's the equipment we're going to need today, but you also will need a glass of water or a bottle of water because we are going to be moving about. It's super important that we stay hydrated. Um, and when you're out of breath, it's always a good chance to just go and chill, get yourself together and have a little sip. So, today, unfortunately, I can't see you but you're going to need plenty of space because I want you to make sure that you're super safe. And as you can see, I've cleared my front room. We are gonna be throwing objects. And the reason we've chosen soft objects is because we don't wanna be breaking things in the house. I'm not throwing in that direction because I've got photo frames. So I'm gonna to throw towards my stairs. And if you've got the opportunity to move things, make sure that you're not throwing it towards your mum or dad's favorite vase. I can't be blamed for that. Now, first activity to get started is rapid shot. So you're going to pick, I'm going to pick the waste paper bin and I'm going to empty out a bit some pieces that I can throw. You need to get your bin and put it to one side of the room. So I'm just going to pop it down here so you guys can see. And to start off with, we are going to practice our aiming and our accuracy. Now, I'm a rugby player, and when we throw the ball, we need to be accurate with our pass. What other sports do you think you need to throw the ball? We've got rounders, foot netball, basketball, yeah, cricket. There are so many different sports that you can use all of the skills that we're practicing today to develop and learn and get even better at. So, as I say, I might be a rugby player, but this is also super important for all those other sports as well. Right, 
game one, rapid shots. So this is gonna test your accuracy and it's also gonna test your honesty. And finally, we're gonna be doing a bit of Thursday thinking. So your mind is coming in, dealing with pressure, which we'll talk about a little bit later on. Now the rules of the game I'm going to demonstrate. You're going to stand in front. Now this is quite easy, isn't it? And I'm gonna throw it, I got it in. If I get it in, I can take a step backwards. If I don't get it, I have to step a step forwards. Now that's the honesty part. The accuracy part, obviously, the further away I go, the harder it's going to be. So, got third one in, and step back. Okay, I'm using my right hand and the bowling technique, kind of like in rounders. Right, I'm doing all right so far. Oh, only just, I only just got that one. Ah, oh, missed it, that's okay. Okay, so for that one, I need to step forward. Right, it's a really simple game, just to get you, um, just to get you warm, just to get your eyes and hands in for your accuracy. And the most important part with this is you concentrate and use your mind. This is about aiming, it's about accuracy. And I want you to pick a style of throw that you think is relevant for your sport, and then we can change it again. Right, excellent. I'm going to keep going because I missed one, which is really frustrating. Okay. Brilliant work. You're doing really well. Oh, need to step forward. Okay. Think about the technique that you're using. So when do you get the, the ball or the paper into the bin? Well, what did I do? I was looking, I was calm, I had a good solid base and I pointed towards the bin. That's a little technique that we use with rugby. We call it our rifles. So you shoot the target that someone is aiming for. All right, last little go at that. And I would like you to collect up all of the, the boards and the paper and pop them into that bin. So, little warm up just to get yourself going, which is brilliant. And I'm sure you've done an awesome job so far. Grab yourself a quick drink because now is when the pressure goes on. Okay, I just did my right hand and this one, we're gonna be doing um, a little bit quicker. So we're gonna do 60 seconds and I want you to choose a different type of throw. So it might be with a different hand, it could be over the shoulder. You, you, I want you to be as creative as possible. There's one other thing, we're just going to use one ball. So you've got to run back and forth to the point because we need you to get that heart rate up. Okay, right, 60 seconds, three, two, one, go. And you just, oh, I missed it. So I've got to come a step closer. Okay, I'm using my right hand, I'm gonna swap now to my left. Might not be as accurate, but that's okay. So in rugby and in cricket and in rounders and anything in sport, you normally have got a dominant side, okay? But actually, it's really important we practice both. So I'm practicing with my left. Excellent, keep going. You've got 20 more seconds. Oh, I'm not doing very well here, am I? Oh, there we go, okay. Maybe I need to concentrate. Think about those rifles. I've gone back to my right hand by mistake as well. Left hand, excellent. Good stuff, 10 more seconds. See how far away you can get from that bin. Better than me, I'm sure. Oh, I missed it. And rest there. Really good work. I love the energy. And hopefully you can start to feel that your heart rate is going, especially like me, because I miss so many times. Now, I mentioned about left hand, right hand throwing technique. What we're gonna do now is change it again. So I want you to think about the movement that you're making. So it could be that we're hopping in and out. It could be that we're jumping. It could be that we are throwing on one leg. So you decide how hard you want it to be. You can make it harder by making the movements faster 
or you can make it easier by slowing it down, taking your time, but it is a warm up, so I want you guys to try and work as hard as possible. Okay, 60 more seconds. I'm going to jump and I'm gonna close my left eye and I'm gonna do a rugby throw. Two, one, go. Okay, good. Notice as a rugby throw, I actually using both of my hands. Oh, and I wasn't jumping. Ah, there we go. Remember, like the Easter Bunny. Okay, it makes it that much harder when you close one of your eyes. So if you haven't, try and give that a go. Maybe you might be better with one side or the other. That's it, keep working. You're doing a really good job, keep going. It's interesting that when you make something, oh, that's a bit of a rebound, I'm cheating here. Keep going, 20 more seconds. Oh. Okay, I want you to keep going. I've stopped because I want to just say, you're doing really, really well, 10 seconds. See how many more that you can get in. And interestingly, notice, how does your brain feel? How does your heart feel? Are you getting two, one, and rest there? Awesome work. Now, the reason why I was asking you to challenge yourself as much as possible with different throws and different movements is because when you play elite sport, when you play sport, you're under pressure. Your brain, you're having to think and make decisions really quickly. You're having to be able to deal with your heart rate racing and still be really accurate. And interestingly, when did I get better? I actually got better when I was under more pressure, maybe because I'm used to it, but also because I knew I had to concentrate that little bit more for my skills. So you can have a play around with that and we're gonna get two more different games that we're gonna go through. So grab yourself a drink because you've earned it. Brilliant. And I'm gonna do a few shout outs. We have seen some amazing things on, on the Youth Sport Trust social media pages. We've got a hashtag YST after school. Because I can't see you now, I want to see some pictures. So I want you to tag me, tag hashtag YST after school, and then we can see what you guys are up to. But a few shout outs for me today. We've got St Anthony's PE and Sport Department. Thank you for sharing your after school club and the news that we are delivering today. You have been awesome. And I hope all of your young people are enjoying it. I also want to give a shout out to India Ellis. She's not well today, but she joined in last week, even though dad didn't have a balloon, she got stuck in with my session. So hope you get well soon, India. And then also last but not least, the Valley Partnership Schools in Devon, they've been promoting the after school club. They've been getting involved um, and want to say thank you to everyone at Holcomb Rogus and Bulliscombe Bullis School because I've been hearing that you've been doing a fab job with these after school clubs. If you want to shout out, if you want to let us know that you're joining in, please get in touch on face, Facebook, Instagram, social media. There are so many ways. Hashtag YST after school. Show us your pictures, show us your videos and um, celebrate all of this amazing stuff that's happening. Okay, right. I've talked for too long, we need to keep going with the game. So this time what we're going to do, we're going to place our um, basket or bucket in the middle of the room. Now I'm going to stick, I'm going to actually change, I'm going to make it really hard for myself. Don't know why because it wasn't very good but I like challenge, I like being competitive. I'm going to change it to a smaller bin. Now why would that make it easier, e easier or harder? Hmm. Have a think about that one, because I want you to see whether you can challenge yourself. Now you're going to put it in the middle of your room. So you've got a nice space around it. And then with the other items, you're going to put one on every single um, hand of the clock. So 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. You can't quite see these, but they are there on the floor. 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. Four o'clock, five o'clock, this is why you need 12. Six o'clock, okay, good work. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 
and 11. Hopefully you guys are absolutely fine with that. If you don't have the space for all 12, then maybe you could just do half of the clock. Now, the idea of this activity, it's called clock face. Now you've got 12 balls, piece of paper, socks, you name it, whatever it is. And what you need to do is you need to work your way around the clock, throwing it into the bin. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. If you don't get the ball in, we're gonna go clockwise to start off with. You're gonna leave it, and then you're gonna go on to the next one and go on to the next one. At the end, we're gonna see how many you've managed to get in that total clock face. I'm gonna put a time pressure on it. We got 60 seconds to do this. So 60 seconds, my 12 o'clock's up here. So I'm gonna turn my back to it and then you guys are gonna go as well. Three, two, one, you can pick left, right hand, two hands, whatever you want. I'm gonna go left, right handed, go. Oh, one o'clock, yes, two o'clock, excellent. Three o'clock, ooh, four o'clock. Oh, I'm not very good, I made it a lot harder. This is five, oh gosh, made it a lot harder now I'm using a smaller bucket. Seven o'clock, ooh, eight o'clock. I think I put an extra one in, 11 o'clock. There we go, okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, I only got six out of 12. Not bad for my first start, but I definitely think I can get better. I do have still a little bit of time. So if you're working on the clock and five seconds, got five seconds left, three, two, one, and finish there. So I probably rushed it. I also need to work on my accuracy and my aim, my technique of throwing the ball because I've made it smaller. I've made it harder for myself. Right, back out, get everything back out into that clock face again. You guys are really good at this, so you'll do it super fast. If you want to make it a little bit harder, what could you do? Maybe make it bigger. Maybe change the bin in the middle like I have. Okay, this time we've got 60 seconds and we're gonna go anti-clockwise. So take your time, you've got a minute. I managed six the last time. I wanna see how many you guys can do. I'm sure you've beaten that because that wasn't very good for me. We're going anti-clockwise this time. Three, two, one, go. doing very well this time round. oh my gosh there we go maybe it's because i'm not used to throwing things down and i'm used to throwing things up to people or maybe i'm not oh, performing very well under pressure oh gosh it's going horribly oh there we go okay that, that time one two three four five six seven oh my gosh i only managed five that time but you know what it's amazing how when you are dealing with pressure and doing a skill and practicing, it gets really intense, doesn't it? It gets really difficult. And then you worry and you get tense and then you miss again and then you get frustrated and you get angry. And that's the same in sport. That happens all of the time. And one thing that we have to learn in sport, just like we have to do in life, that when things don't go our way, to not get angry, to not get frustrated, but to learn how to deal with that. And in sport, the way that we learn to deal with it is by practice. And actually, I'll let you into a secret. Something that we used to do in rugby when it was really crazy and we'd practice, because you think all the noise, everything, we'd be practicing. I was stood at, at fullback, practicing my high balls, and all of my teammates would scream and shout and try and put me off. So I'm dealing under pressure. I do it at the end of a fitness session as well. Okay, now I've slowed down. I'm gonna grab a drink. Maybe you could grab, grab a drink too. This time, what I'd like you to do is mark out the 12, but we're only going to use one ball. So you're gonna come in, grab it, come back out again. And the 12 markers are just there to allow you to see where to go. Now, 
I want you to change what you're doing. I haven't been very successful with my right hand, but I'm gonna make it even harder and try it with my left hand. Now, what type of technique is that? That's rounders, isn't it? That's, that's rounders there. I could be doing a line out throw from rugby. I could be doing a, a throw like rugby. I could be doing a netball shot, whatever you like. It doesn't always have to be a bin. It could be a big tire if you've got something, anything to aim at. Okay, right, put everything out. You're doing really, really well with all of this. And I've given you plenty of time to recover. So hopefully you'll be all set. Now, I'm going to pick nine because I started my first position in England as a rugby player was scrum half, which was number nine. So I'm going to start at number nine. You can pick wherever you want. I'm going to go left hand. And remember, this time, it's only this one that's going in and out. So I'm going to practice coming in and out because with sport, we get heart rate up, but also staying on our toes and staying alert is something we need to be doing. Right, 60 seconds, three, two, one, go. Oh, that wasn't a good start. We're going clockwise. Okay, that's one. That's two. That's three. Four. Oh, not quite. Yes, five. Good stuff. Remember, oh, you can celebrate when you get things done. Yes, there we go. That's six, I'm doing. Oh, nearly. Seven. Eight, keep going. You've still got 15 seconds to keep going around the clock. You're doing really well. Sorry, I've got my back to you. There we go. Oh, 10. Three seconds. Ah! And finish there. Really, really well done. That was a bit more tiring, wasn't it? I want you to keep going and practice because now we've got a heart rate up. You're not under pressure for the aim and accuracy, but also because you're a little bit tired. Exactly the same, but this time we are going to go the other way around. We're going to go anti-clockwise. Okay, so I'm going to start again at nine. All right. I'm going to change my pass and I'm going to do a little mini basketball shot. Two, one, go. Nope, not quite. Yep, there we go. Good work. Oh, try and be really creative. Think about your technique. Think about, right, how did I do that last time? How can I do it again? Because practice with skills makes perfect, especially when you're tired. Okay, maybe I should have gone to basketball. Do better at this than I was at the rounders throw. Excellent. Keep going. Okay. Well done. See if you can beat me. Oh, now I'm losing concentration. I'm not doing very well. Okay. Five seconds. Good work. Keep going. And stop there. Excellent, excellent work. I'm really, really proud to see how brilliant you all are. Now, the idea of this activity is we can make it change in different ways. I've changed the bucket. You can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. If you're not feeling very well and actually you still want to have a practice, you could do the game simply sat down. But the most important thing, whenever we work in sport and we're thinking about our skills is actually we practice and we think and then we learn about our technique. Don't try and think about all sorts of things. Think about where are my eyes looking? Think about how did my hand finish on the pass? Think about that one. That one felt really good. And try and understand why you did so well. Because if you can understand why, then when you're practicing, you can try and replicate it each time. We've only got a little bit more time. So we are going to do 30 seconds of chaos. Now, I'm going to call out a different time on the clock. If you've got a friend or a fam family member at home, they could do this as well. Um, and you can come up with something, you've got 30 seconds, and I'm basically gonna call the time, and you're gonna run to that and do your shot. However you want it, it could, oh, I haven't done a trick shot yet. Maybe it could be between your legs. I got it in first time, how about that? It could be over your shoulder, be creative, do whatever you want, 
Um, I am going to call out the times of your 30 seconds, see how many you can get going. Right, three, two, one, 12 o'clock. Nine o'clock. Stay light on your feet, we've been practicing this last week. Three o'clock. Seven o'clock. Keep going, you're doing really light on your feet. Get moving, pressure's on, no pressure. This is World Cup final time, you've got to get everything right. 11 o'clock. Four o'clock. Seven o'clock. Five more seconds. One o'clock. Five. Twelve. And rest there. Really, really well done. I'm super impressed with how good you guys are. And the most important thing is all of this. It doesn't matter if you miss. The most important thing is you keep practicing. Keep trying to create different levels of pressure. Um, and I'm sure you'll be able to improve. And as I say, all of these skills are relevant to so many different sports. Right, go and grab yourself a drink and also collect up all of the equipment because it's already time to cool down. Okay. Now, we haven't done too much running around today, but you have been light on your feet. So we're gonna stretch off our calves. So we're gonna take one step forward, I'm going to bend our front leg and push our back heel into the ground. Now I've got a challenge for you. So I want you to listen up whilst you're doing this because it is Thursday thinking, so you're going to use your minds whilst you're using your body and swap over, swap over the legs. Okay, so my challenge is with the waste paper basketball challenge, netball, hockey, uh, netball um, even we could do football, you could think about hockey, a tennis ball. You could bring in a tennis racket. Okay, excellent. And we're going to sit down on the floor. We're going to stretch off our hamstrings, which is down the back of our legs. I want you to come up with 12 different ways to, sh to <clears throat> and just reach over to one of your feet. Um, 12 different ways to throw or kick or put the ball into the basket. So you can go round the 12 o'clock and you've got 12 different ways of doing it and you can practice and then I want you to challenge your friends to see how many times you can get it in in all of those different techniques. You can compete against each other, you can do it so that you can only move on to the next time if and when you get the, um, the shot in the basket, that would be good. It's kind of like when people play darts, actually you don't move on until you, and we play around the world. Good stuff, and then reach across, and now we're gonna stretch, which is down through our glutes, because those are the big muscles that we use for balance and control, and when we're running. Fantastic, now, as I said, when you're an athlete and when you're playing sport, being able to deal with pressure is something that can sometimes feel really overwhelming, and you can really get frustrated with sort of over your legs, Swap over, um, get really frustrated with the skills that you do and you miss a pass or you don't quite do the, the good, a good bowl or you don't get the shot. And what's really important is how you deal with that and how you deal with that pressure. Now, when I was younger, I used to get really angry to the point where even sometimes I would cry because I was that frustrated that I wasn't perfect. But I can tell you now that no sports star is perfect. They just know how to deal with mistakes. So this mistake happens and they move on. And this is a really good game. I'm going to just do our groin here. And it's a really good game to practice that. So last but not least, I've given some shout outs already. The hashtag YST after school. It would be awesome to see you guys and see what you've been up to. So get your, your mums, dads, aunties, uncles, brothers, sisters involved to take some photographs. I'm gonna sit on the floor and what we wanna see is a big Y. Y for YST, Y for yes! Okay, and Y because it's just awesome to be doing sports. So I wanna see as many Ys as possible and um, with big smiles and share us what you got up to. So, to finish off, tomorrow is Friday fun with Olympic and double world champion rower, 
Toby Garvick. Now, Toby is fantastic. He will be taking you through your paces for Friday Fun and the equipment that you need. You need two towels, you need 10 soft items, and you need a broom handle, a stick of some kind, preferably not wet and horrible because it's raining outside today. Maybe a hockey stick, maybe a walking stick, as long as it's not needed. Maybe a crutch if you've got one, but you need something as a stick. Thank you for joining me today. You've been awesome. I'm super impressed with all your skills and hopefully we've got that brain thinking because it's Thursday thinking with Nolly.